For now, uh, the market is still holding up quite well. So let's shift focus to the commodity space. Manisha Gupta, commodities editor, is here with us. Manisha, hi. Good morning. What's the one big commodity you're tracking today? Well, plenty of news, Sonia. In steel, where we have seen the prices decline below 35,000 rupees per ton in the Indian markets, and that is what we are tracking right now. The steel prices in India actually have been declining for last 19 weeks now. It clearly has been a bit of a bearish phase, continuing for the ferrous metals there. Also, when you look at the prices here, we are down in the Indian market. Markets by 27 percent year-on-year basis, and when you look at the prices, the Indian prices are at a discount of 4 percent uh, from the landing cost that we have seen in South Korea and Japan. So, well, yes, the prices have been under constant pressure for some time now. But that's about the Indian markets. When you look at the China, which of course is the biggest uh, uh, producer and consumer for steel, we are looking at the Chinese HRC prices also at the lowest level since 2019. Uh, the steel ingredients like iron ore, coking coal prices have been declining as well. So, in that sense, the market Margins for the steel companies should have been good, but then again, you have seen the demand much on the lower side. That, of course, is the most crucial point. And while uh, China and India have been doing deals in steel, but all of those have been happening at discount and lower levels. That is where you are looking at volumes coming in from. A couple of positives, though, in steel prices that you see today is China saying that they are going to curb output of steel. They also have uh, actually put out uh, level two anti-smog measures. So there is a lot of production curbs coming in between 18th to 22nd. of october and that perhaps is one supportive factor that you are seeing coming in case of the steel prices the other is the weakness in us dollar where the dollar index is trading at around two month lows that of course has given a bit of a support but overall fundamentals when you see there is really none coming in here the markets are anticipating that the next couple of quarters perhaps could bring some good news in sense of us and china trade talks india infrastructure spending as well and that could support the steel prices and and the markets as of now all the uh, fundamentals that we are looking at are quite bearish Trading strategies, though, in most of these commodities are on the positive side. We spoke to Comtrends, and they have a buy in case of gold, thirty-eight thousand five hundred is the target that they are watching out for that one. They also have buying strategies continuing in case of crude, three thousand nine hundred five onto that one, and it's a buy in case of metals where they have chosen copper, four forty-two is the target on your radar. Okay, all right, Manisha, thank you very much for that commodity roundup. We are going to take a quick break on that note. On the other side, the focus is going to be on the oil and gas.